guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this so yeah, there's 40 degree outside and I'm wearing my hoodie um, just for the sake of this video because it's my school hoodie. So yeah, enjoy! Today I'm going to tell you guys how I passed my Italian exams and at the end of this video I will insert the results, so stay tuned. Okay, first of all, a little background story. Um, first, I did five years of high school in Italy. The first year I didn't know any Italian. It was hard. Thanks to my school, I was able to do to take free courses, free Italian courses. Now, what exam did I pass? So, at the end of the fifth year, you do an important exam, which is like very important because if you pass the exam, you move on and then you get to go to university, you get to go abroad, or you get to work. But if you don't pass the exam, you're gonna repeat the year, obviously. Arriving in the fifth year, I was very proud because I didn't fail a year, but I was so freaking nervous. This was just a big thing, a new thing to us and I was just being nervous. The exams consist of three parts. The first part is called Prima Prova. A written essay and we have written text to analyze and stuff. The second one is was about English and Chinese, which is the subject that I do it's in high school. The third part is an oral test. So we have to sit in the center and you're surrounded by all the teachers of every subject. I literally like woke up like often in the morning to study and then I go to bed like at 3 a.m. So these are my IG stories throughout the year and yes, I was looking up for a cosplay outfit but yeah, I think they can perfectly work as proof that I was like literally done and we studied. Talking about how I actually study, I have these binders, we're gonna take for example Italian and um, the first page is all about the chapters, like a summer of all the chapters and poems that I have to study and uh, um, yeah, these are for example for Italian. Sometimes I just print out the summary and then put together uh, with my notes. As for the poems, I print them out and then write my notes next to it and I think it's just so amazing and helped me to study. And if I don't write summary on my copybooks, I usually just study directly from the books. Or if I am being a little bit extra, I will do a summary on my copybook too. Now for the results, the first part of the exams, which was Italian, I got taught over 20 and oh my god, when I said the result, I was, I was going to do a party because I was so, so happy about it. Second part, which was English and Chinese. Um, I got 15 over 20 and I'm pretty much very glad because obviously I'm, pre I'm pretty much sure that I did English part better um, and it was just Chinese part. Now the last one, which is the important one because the oral one, the oral test one is important because you know I was, I was, oh my god, I was like, god. If like I have 12, 15 and I had to get a 10, if I got less than 10 over 20 on the oral test, I will fail the whole stuff. We had to choose uh, different. Like we had different envelope, and each envelope contains a, a picture or a quote or uh, a poem, whatever. And we had to choose it. I got a picture of the famous author, Italian author Leopardi, and I was glad because Leopardi is my favorite, one of my favorite um, Italian authors. Um, yeah, that's why I knew that the thing on the table was him. I was so glad, and. Literally, I have to take the picture and I have to find connection uh, between Leopardi and all the subjects. So, for the oral test, I got 19 over 20. I was like, what? Apart from the points from the exams that we got, we had some points that we should collect throughout the year, like for behavior, activities that you do, you got points. So I was, I already had 30 points and I added to the points that I got from my exams. And summing up, I got 76 over 100 and I'm so glad because if you got 60 over 100, you can pass the exams and I got more than 60. So that is it for guys. I really hope you guys like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel because I will do more of this video and I will do more videos about workshops and Italy. So yeah, like this video if you like it and comment down below which video you want me to do in the future. And yeah, bye.